Hello, Physics Nation. My name is Nate Larmond, and I'd like to do a Khan Academy problem from the set called Using the Kinetic Energy Equation. So what is kinetic energy? Well, it's just energy of movement, and we say 1 half mv squared. So this thing is telling us the kinetic energy and telling us the mass. So we're going to solve for the motion. They say the speed, uh, or you can say the absolute value of the velocity. Pardon my sloppiness. 1 half mv squared is kinetic energy. I like to do the algebra with the variables. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2. 2 multiplied by the kinetic energy, all divided by the mass. We're going to divide both sides by the mass. And then we're going to take the square root, or raise to the 1 half power. So you know, manipulate the algebraic expression before you put in the numbers. Then the functional relationship will be more clear. For example, um, doubling the kinetic energy does not double the velocity. It increases the velocity by a factor of root 2, or 1.41. Doubling the mass um, does not cut the velocity by a factor of 2. It cuts the velocity by a factor of 1 over root 2. Anyway, I think doing the uh, algebra symbolically is better than doing it numerically because, like I said, it reveals the patterns. Uh, so let's actually throw in the numbers here. What are we doing? 2 times the kinetic energy is 300. 300 divided by 5 is 60. And then the square root of 60 is going to be, I don't know, 7? Hang on. Well... 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, so, uh, I don't know, 7 point something. Oh, whoops, how do you do this thing? Uh, hang on, let's do the square root of 60. Is that how you work this thing? Oh, got to close parentheses. Square root of 60. Yeah, 7.75, roughly. What do they want? Two significant figures? 7.7? Let's see. 7.7. And the happy confetti. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.